Hello everybody, Andrea Trosky here with Dental L Tutoring. Um, I apologize about the mess, we have moved, but now all of our boxes are pretty much everywhere because we just haven't had time to unpack them all yet. In my office, it's fairly clean, but I don't have enough light. And I have, um, I'm looking up, um, what do you call them? The ring lights on Amazon because I need more lights for this, um, but I'm doing my research. So I haven't ordered one yet, but I will in probably about a week, okay? So then I will always have light. I should be in a nice clean office soon enough. So sorry about the mess behind me. But in the video today, I would like to talk to you guys about how to floss. And I don't know why I never thought about this before, but um, I had somebody ask me on my YouTube channel to um, show you all how to. So whether you are a patient um, watching this or a person watching this, or if you're a dental assistant or a dental hygienist who wants to know how to talk to their patients about how to floss, because there's a right way and there's a wrong way, and if you're not shown or taught, then how do you know, right? Like, that's, that's okay, like, that's normal. So first things first is, a lot of people ask me, what type of um, floss should I buy? It depends on the person. Honestly, some people like thicker floss. Some people like thinner floss. I love thin floss. Um, I have bought a cheap, you know, floss in the past, and I just hated it so much that I I tried to floss, but I'm like, no, like I can't even do this. So. I find that if you don't like the floss that, um, that you are using, you won't floss. So, so then you think you hate to floss, but you're probably just using the wrong floss. So find one that you like. Um, I actually like this one here. Um, I'll try to focus. Oh, it's so bright. You guys can't really see it. But it's a nice thin floss. And I like the one... Um, called, um, actually, sorry, let me see if this is easier to show you guys, to try to focus. There we go. Kind of, but not really. Um, but I do also like Oral-B um, Satin Floss. If you guys have a Costco, um, depending on where you live, um, they typically sell them at Costco, and it's a lot cheaper because you get them in like a pack of four or five or something, and they're awesome. So, flossing. So what you want to tell your patients is to use the um, half length of their arms. So does everybody see that? Sorry, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but half length. So that's the length you want. Take it off. Like, whoops, that kind of ripped a little bit. And then wrap it around your middle finger. Okay, your middle um, fingers here and use your index finger to sort of show you where you want it to go. It takes practice, okay? So do not think, okay, I can't do this, what's happening? It takes practice, you guys, honestly. Um, when I was learning how to be a dental assistant many, many years ago when I was 19, um, having to floss somebody else's teeth, I had the hardest time, it took me forever. So it takes practice. So wrap it around your middle finger, Use your index fingers to sort of sh uh, show you guys where you want it to go. I didn't think to get um, teeth to show you, so I'm going to show you guys on my teeth. So I'm sorry if it looks kind of weird. But I'll show you guys, um, I guess, on, a, fr on um, like a front tooth area. So what I want you guys to do, so the middle finger, index finger, and kind of go up like this. It's kind of hard to see, isn't it? And in a C-shape motion towards the tooth. So like this. See that? And the key is to use a C-shape um, shape against the tooth so you are, are actually taking the plaque off. Because if you do this, like you're kind of going, ah, that's it you're not sort of getting all of the plaque. So does that make sense? So think, think about it this way. Like this is your tooth. It's really bright. Let me just kind of shut the window here, see if that helps. Does that help a little bit? Actually, I think it does. Um, I hope now it's not too dark. But so a, a, um, a C shape against your tooth. So think of my finger as a tooth like this. Because if you're uh, simply doing this, you're missing this whole area of the tooth. So let me try that again. 
So let me show you guys. So I like this, and it see, say it like this, like this, like this. <laughs> Sorry, that's really hard to do in front of a webcam. So see how I do not want you doing this. Does everybody see how that's too quick and it just simply does not work? So I want you to do this. So does everybody see how I'm doing that like C shape against the tooth about three times? So up, down, up, down, up, down, about three times um, on each side. So over here and over here, and I'm sorry, something just popped up again. So let me just cancel those little suckers out. There we go. So does everybody see that? So that's how I want you all to show your patients how to floss. And if you're a person, that's how to floss. And make sure to do all of the teeth, okay? Yes, it is harder to reach the ones in the back. I'll try to show you here, but it might be kind of hard to see. It's normal that it's a little bit harder. It is harder for everybody. Um, if this is just too hard for you to use, there's um, something out there called the floss picks, which I thought I had a sample, but of course I can't find them. They are excellent. So it's kind of like a thin piece of um, floss on like a stick so that you can hang on to the handle and then use the floss that way. So that's up to you. But for the back teeth, again, wrap it around the middle finger and use your index and you may have to even use your thumbs too to sort of angle it. Like for my top teeth, it's easiest for me to use my, my um, index here. Uh -huh. But I pull it out with my thumbs. And let's see on the bottom how that works. Okay, so I use my index fingers, but I pull them out with my thumbs. It takes practice, but it's so important, you guys, to do it every single day, honestly, because if you don't, you're missing all of that plaque. And if that plaque stays there, then it causes cavities and then stain happens, and then your teeth become sore, and then you have tartar. It's just a big mess, trust me. So floss every day. Um, I like to floss if I'm actually sitting in front of the TV. So if I'm watching a movie or, or a show or something, that's when I like to do it because I'm sitting there anyway. Um, I don't think I, I, I have ever flossed before sleeping because I'm just too tired at that point. Um, but that's just me. I know some people like to floss in the, sh in the um, shower. I have other things to do in the shower, so I don't have time to floss either, but some people like that, right? Um, but I floss while I'm watching TV, and that's what I tell a lot of my patients, unless you need to use a mirror, which I do happen to have one here, um, then you can't um, do it in front of the TV unless you have a mirror near the TV, right? So that's okay too. Like some people need to use a mirror and some people don't, that's okay. Just whatever is the easiest for you. Um, and something else that I should mention, it is possible to floss too hard. So be careful. So you have to be thorough, but don't floss too hard. So with the flossing, you want to go in between the teeth until you feel the area stop. So you don't want to hurt yourself and go like in there, but make sure to reach the bottom of the tooth. So does that make sense? Oh, all right. Uh, yeah. But I've seen a lot of people who are like, you know, and that can hurt you. So don't hurt yourself. And if you're not sure how to do it, then talk to your dental assistant or your dental hygienist and they will, sh will um, show you. Like I show people how to floss at least every time I work, at least once in a day because it's not the easiest thing. So do not be ashamed to ask. So everybody, so I hope that helped. If you guys have questions, just let me know.